Step through the colors. Push open the red door and enter a world beyond. See the clouds streaked orange with sunlight. Breathe in the yellow blossoms. Slide your bare feet along the green grass. Gaze into the blue sky vaulting overhead. Reach for the indigo stone glowing bright. Close your eyes and let the violet light illuminate you. Now you're standing on the shore of a vast turquoise ocean. Pink sand settles like powder between your bare toes. The sun is high in the sky. The day is warm. You watch a massive wave rise, fold, and crash, sending out a delicious cool spray that mists your face and arms, prompting you to close your eyes for a moment so you can enjoy the sensation of the moisture on your skin. Your hands go to your hips as you contemplate whether to do what you felt the urge to do for days now. Swim out into the deep water where you know something splendid awaits. As another wave rockets up the beach then slides back out, you decide it's time. So you inhale deeply, gather your courage, and walk down to the water. For a moment, you just stand, surveying the waves, watching gulls circle and dive, swarming just beyond where the waves are breaking. Unable to wait any longer, you wade out through the effervescing sea foam that bubbles around you. Water pools around your legs, Strands of kelp circle your ankles and you reach down, peel them away and move deeper. When the water is waist high, you take a deep breath and you dive into the oncoming wave. The water is warm, sea salt prickles along your skin. You feel the heavy tug of a wave as it rolls over the top of you. Then you burst through the surface, slaking a deep breath as you tread water for a moment and get your bearings. Out in the blue-green beyond, there's movement. A giant gray whale slices upward through the water, then teeters and falls in slow motion, sending up a spectacular fountain of ocean water and spray that fans out, catches the light, and flashes every color of the rainbow before blowing away. You knew it. Whales. They're migrating just beyond the bay, and you need to see them. You need to get closer. You swallow another deep breath, disappear below the surface, and start to swim, breaststroking your way toward the opening of the bay, your arms parting the water and pulling you along like oars. Submerged? You can hear the animals. Their mournful songs piercing the watery silence. More surprising, you find you can somehow understand these creatures whose summons feel as inescapable as gravity. When you reach the mouth of the bay, you see the spouts. First one, then another, then another. Soon, the surface of the water erupts Plumes of water sprouting up everywhere as the whales send water up through their blowholes. Insane as it sounds, you're determined to swim among them. But as you get closer, you realize with shock and frustration that the current is pulling you away, carrying you back toward the shore. You try to swim against it, but it's no good. The water is moving you away from the pod. So you dive deep and slip into the depths, trusting your lungs and your limbs to power you down and away from the pull of the current. You feel your chest start to burn as your body screams for air, but you can feel yourself breaking away from the pull of the tide. As its grip begins to ease and you realize you're finally free, you push up toward the surface, 
your legs scissoring, your lungs desperate for oxygen. You burst up out of the water, gasping for air, and that's when you see. You're so much closer now. And, as if to celebrate your arrival, an unseen whale sends a geyser of water up through his blowhole, the spray raining down on you, anointing you. This close, you decide to duck under the water again to listen. Now you can hear it from every direction. Whale song swirls around you. First the high-pitched call of one whale, then the lower-pitched answer of another. As they trade songs back and forth, other whales join in, and you float suspended in this watery world, listening, feeling the sound pulsate, tingling along your skin and reverberating deep in your bones. Soon, the animals have gathered around you, and one of them glides close enough that you can reach out and touch it. The second you flatten your hand against its flesh, a long, piercing cry bursts from it, and you feel the song vibrate up through your fingertips. You come up to the surface for air, pull in a deep breath, then submerge yourself again. Now you watch as the animals edge closer, gliding past you, calling to each other. Clicks, whistles, pulsating cries that taper off, echoing through the deep. Fatigue is setting in. You can feel it in your limbs. You're out of breath and you need to swim back before your strength fails you. But you don't want to leave. As if sensing your hesitation and your exhaustion, the whale hovering closest to you, the one who let you touch him, edges even closer. And before you know what's happening, you've grabbed onto his dorsal fin and he's pulling you back into the shallows, slicing through the water until you're close enough to body surf the waves to shore. Moments later, you emerge from the ocean, your body heavy but your heart light, and you collapse onto the sand, roll onto your back, and close your eyes. You breathe deep, feel the sun soak into your skin, and off in the distance you swear you can hear fountains of spray shooting up through the blowholes of your giant partners. Now, step back through the colors, the violet light, the indigo stone, the blue sky, the green grass, the yellow blossoms, the orange clouds, the red door. Breathe deep. and gently let the breath out. You are a journeyer. <laughs>